Hey everybody, this is Tambio and I'm back with another Transformers video review. This time I have BotCon 2004 Souvenir Set Number 1, uh, Figure Number 1, Ape Link, or Night Ape Link. Um, there's three figures in uh, the Souvenir Set Number 1, which is Ape Link, Flare Up, and Alpha Trizar. I'm going to be doing each one of those individually, so keep an eye out for those. Alright, so, and as you can see, here's uh, Knight Ape Link in uh, his alternate mode, or his beast mode. And you can see that he is actually based off of Ape Link, which was a BotCon 2000 exclusive, uh, which was made from the Transmetal Optimus Prime. And this one is using the 10th anniversary Optimus Prime mode. Checking him out, real quick, we'll... Um, First of all, we'll look at his uh, what he comes in the package with. He comes with his instructions, and he comes with his bio card, which has uh, a picture of him, and then it has his technical data, and then it has his bio right here, and let me get a glare off of that so you can read that, and if you want to pause it, then do so to read that. All right, uh, once again, he comes with his little surfboard, and this is him in his ape mode, and let me show you him a little bit better, so you can take a look at. And he has his little ape face, and this is part of his his other mode, and then his legs and his his arms for this mode. So, and then there's his surfboard, which has the little hover things on the bottom and such and then here is his power key which is chrome very chromed uh, you can actually see me in it but you clip it in there and it opens this up and then it reveals the trigger for the missile and the button fires the missile so you can take that out and then to have him stand on it you just take his little feet and you put him like that, and then he can kind of ride the cyber waves. So, um, yeah. Um, all right. So pull him off, and then to transform him. Right, so first of all, we want to start move all this stuff out like that and like that then we're gonna take and open his crotch up and once we have that then we'll take this flip this down flip the mask up okay and then we're gonna come back here to the back and pull this out right here it flips up like that and then it hinges down and we're gonna flip this out like that um, you know, so it kind of goes like that and move this up a little bit and then you're gonna come and this this is spring-loaded so whenever you disconnect everything this swings back together so then you want to even out the legs like that and then you want to the top of it you want to flip these open and then that becomes his feet and then you want to then take this portion flip this up to flip this down and flip that up like that and then this flips down and you can flip that like that like that and then like that take these flip these around I knew it wasn't me these instructions are crazy okay I'm just not going to use these instructions because they're crazy um, 
it shows on the instructions when you first transform him because uh, everything is like said like this and like this that these these little portions right here are like this so then whenever you pull this back and lift this up and then pull these back then all of a sudden it shows this angle and it shows this on this side um, I, I know I'm not crazy um, but when I look at the pictures of the toys it uh, it shows this as being right so uh, clearly the instructions are, are weird um, I had transformed this once before and then I was kind of because I, I, I've never owned this figure before so I was just kind of doing it off of um, you know memorization apparently you have to go like that and then flip these open and then um, you go here and then you want to open this up and it reveals the head and then you push this back this portion back here and then you close this back up to form the chest so you have the head the chest all this is right um, the instructions show that the legs that this portion should be on the outside but the the picture of the toy shows that this should be on the outside so um, sorry about that that's where I kinda got confused looking at the instructions they kind of led me a little astray um, so here's Ape Link in uh, his, his robot mode and this is no longer a vehicle for him to ride it becomes a weapon so what you do is you take this again pop that in there get that like that and then you want to take I have not had any luck having him hold this or being able to get him in a good um, a good angle where it looks like he's actually holding it properly um, it always looks like he's not holding it like See the big old gap right there on his shoulder? That's what I always get. But uh, this is what he's supposed to be doing. He's supposed to be holding a rocket launcher now. Um, so, and apparently it's he's supposed to be downloading it from cyberspace because his name is supposed to be uh, Uplink. But then when he took the ape form, it became Ape Link. So, uh, apparently according to the mythos. So... that up. He looks better without it anyways. Uh, the only thing I really don't like about this form is the elbows have no turning so you, if you want a traditional elbow then you have to turn it like this and then you have them palms up. So you have to turn them like this to get um, to get that and then you you can put that down for a thumb, thumbs on a ball joint, which is really strange. But um, looking at his articulation in this mode, I know I didn't show it off in his ape mode.
I must say I, I never really liked this mold very much as an update to uh, Transmetal Optimus Primal. I thought the original Transmetal Optimus Primal was at least a better version because everything, all the mechanisms and everything were on him. He didn't have a separate surfboard which is very bulky. I just... and then... I was never really a big fan. I never originally bought it because I didn't like him. Um, I didn't like the way that he looked. And then to have this same mold being used for for the customization class, again, <laughs> that's the only figure this year that I didn't get was the customization class one. And it's because it's a figure I don't particularly care for. I think if it would have, if I would have been able to buy the figure pre-made with the paints and the instructions on what colors to paint him and all that stuff, and I was able to paint him, I think maybe then. But since he comes with no instructions on what colors to use, so I didn't pick him up. And I didn't want to go through a third party company to pick him up because I don't think he was on the Transformers Collectors Club site. So that's going to go ahead and do it for this figure.